In today's video, we'll be testing out the best life hacks from all over the internet, including making coffee with no coffee pot, attempting to start a fire with a battery and a gum wrapper, and some that were voted best life hack of the year on Reddit. Plus, more things you guys dared me to do in the comment section. Crazy mother Alright, so we're gonna be getting things started with some of my absolute favorite life hacks. These are actually some of the ones that have been featured on TV and stuff like that. I've seen this one featured in Orange is the New Black. It's where you take a gum wrapper and use a battery to light it. I've seen people use this in prison movies to light cigarettes so many times and I always thought it was the coolest thing ever. I can't wait to give it a try. If this works, I'm gonna be pretty shocked because I haven't had any luck with it yet. Admittedly, this is probably the third or fourth time I've shot this part of the video because they don't really make gum wrappers like this very common anymore. I kept buying different packs of gum and they all have wrappers that are like this that don't have the foil on the outside and the foil is absolutely necessary if you're gonna start a fire. So you need a gum wrapper that has the foil on the outside and you need a battery that's at least a double A or bigger. All right, so then you take your gum wrapper and you cut out a thin strip, then you cut two notches here in the middle. But you make sure to leave them connected because that's probably the point that's gonna catch on fire. All right, now this next part is more than likely going to burn the shit out of me. In all of my previous attempts, I've gotten like really bad burns on my thumb and finger. They're actually still pretty disgusting right now. But I'm very hopeful and I seriously think that this is gonna work. no idea how many times I had to try that. Actually, once you have the right kind of paper and you know the technique, I feel like that would be super easy to do every single time. I'm stoked that I just did that. I'm so fucking happy. All right, so I'm glad we were able to start that one off pretty well. Okay, now just to prove it wasn't a fluke, I want to do it one more time. All right, let's give it a whirl. My prison popularity is at stake. We have to make sure that we can do this. Oh, wait, shit. It was already starting to sizzle up a little bit. Ah! Look at that, two in a row. I, I didn't realize that you don't even have to use the same hand. I guess it makes sense, but I just, I don't know. I kept trying to use the same hand the whole time. So yeah, I'm fully ready for prison at this point. <laughs> that's cool. I feel like that's definitely useful if you're in a bind, except for the fact that it's difficult to find the right type of gum. I don't, it's, again, it's just one of those things that I've seen people do on TV like a million times. I've always wanted to try it. Kristen's actually over here behind the camera. She just said that she had never seen that work in real life either. Woo! <laughs> so, that being said, I'm definitely glad we were able to get that thing done, and now it's really time to move on to the next one. So this next one is pretty cool, but it's not necessarily a life hack because it's not going to be useful to you on an everyday basis. This is only if you have a wood screw that gets pulled out, or if for some reason the hole gets stripped. For example, we had these little wooden hooks here underneath our countertop. It was just like that when we moved in. I would have probably never put one there. But one day we tried hanging something from it that was just a little bit too heavy, and it came crashing down and ripped the thing completely out of its hole. Now the best way of fixing it is probably filling it up with some sort of like wood putty. But if you want to fix something like that pretty quickly, without making your run to the hardware store, you can actually use toothpicks. You can just take a toothpick, shove it up in the hole, and then kind of break it off like that. However many it takes to fill the hole. That's what she said. So I was able to get away with just putting in two tiny little partial pieces of toothpick. And I'm just gonna kind of flatten it out a bit with these pair of scissors and push it in the rest of the way. But you can use whatever you want. And now the hole is fixed, so I can take my screw and completely put it back in there. I mean, I have no way of really knowing exactly how well that thing's in there, but I'm putting all of my weight onto it, and I can't pull that out. I mean, that is completely fixed. And it was done in two seconds using toothpicks, so I definitely wanted to include that in there. But by the way, guys, if you find any of these life hacks useful, or if you just like it, make sure to give the video a big thumbs up. It's definitely a great way to help out the channel. And leave a comment letting me know some sort of problem or weird thing in life that you just wish you had a life hack that would solve it. I might do something with the answers if they're particularly creative or funny. All right, now let's move on to the next life hack. This next life hack is definitely a perfect life hack if you're a slob like me and you never want to spend a lot of time doing laundry. I'm all for organization, but I'm not all for cleaning and organizing. If that makes sense. So anything that can help me get through a process like doing laundry faster is definitely something that I'm into. And I've seen images of this next life hack posted all over the place, different images even showing the exact same thing. So all you have to do to fold your shirt perfectly in the absolute quickest way possible is to pinch it in two different spots. So all you have to do is pinch the shirt up here near the shoulder, then pinch the shirt in the middle off to the side. Then you take the top of the shirt that you just pinched, bring it all the way down to the bottom, and put these two parts together. Then you just pull your hand out, and as you can see, the shirt's already like half folded right there. And boom, that's all you have to do. Okay, so I'm gonna run through that one more time. All right, so again, you just pinch the shirt in two different spots, grab it there, pull it out, whoop, whoop, and then you're done. How awesome is that? Well, I'm pretty stoked about this. I'm glad that I'm not gonna be spending nearly as much time doing laundry from now on, but now I think I'm ready to move on to the next thing. 
Okay, so every life hack on this list I obviously think is dope, but this next one is particularly amazing. Everyone knows what it's like to not have the right battery size for something that you're trying to use and it really, really sucks. I mean, my TV in the living room here does not work without its remote. There aren't any buttons on the back. I mean, it's really a hassle to go out just to buy batteries. And I'm sure a lot of you guys know this because it's definitely something that if you know, you're gonna use it all the time. But if you take a small piece of tinfoil, you can use that to help make the connection and use any size battery that's smaller than what you've actually got in there. Right now, I'm gonna use a AAA battery into an automatic Nerf gun that only takes double A's. So as you can see, flipping the on and off switch does nothing. Just a tiny piece of tin foil. Oh, and if you're wondering why the thing wasn't spinning, you have to pull the trigger. But when I first saw that, I was really stoked about that because I know that's the sort of thing that I'm gonna be using all the time. So hopefully it's helpful to you guys. But we've got some stuff that's even more useful. So we're gonna get on to the next thing right now. For this one, all you need is two styrofoam cups, a rubber band, a coffee filter, and that's it. Only we're gonna be swapping out the styrofoam cup for a glass one so you guys can see what kind of coffee we're actually making while we're making it. And you don't really need scissors to cut through styrofoam, but I'm gonna use them anyways. Get off all the loose edges, put the styrofoam cup with the hole in it over the other cup, and then we insert the coffee filter like that. All right, that should work just fine. Good, then we put some coffee into the top. So for this one, they're saying to use a microwave to heat up your water, but my guess is if you don't have a coffee pot, you might not have a microwave either. So we're gonna see how good of a cup of coffee we can make using just the hottest water we can get out of our sink. My water can get pretty hot, and if you have access to your hot water heater, you can even probably turn it up a little bit, depending on your hot water heater. But I know that this water gets steaming, and if it gets steaming, it seems like that would probably be about as hot as you need it to get for a cup of coffee. I mean, the water that comes out of your Keurig isn't exactly boiling either. All right, it's starting to steam up. I don't want to waste too much water, so I'm just going to get this out of there and report into the coffee machine that we just made, and we'll see how it works. I'm having to pour it only a little bit at a time because otherwise it's going to overflow. It looks like some weak ass coffee though if I'm honest. No, honestly, that's not too, too bad. I've definitely drinking weaker coffee. I'm very particular with how I like my coffee made, but I gotta say, after tasting it, it's, it's not that bad actually. But if you absolutely need your coffee in the morning, this will get you through. So this next life hack is definitely one of my favorites. It's one you're probably not gonna need to use too often, but if you ever need to cut a rope, there's an easy way to cut it without using any other tools. So first you just figure out exactly where you wanna cut the rope. For me, I'm just gonna cut a little bit off the end, so I'm gonna cut it right about here. Then you stand on one side, stand on the other, loop the longer end over your foot and underneath the rope, and then you just saw back and forth like this. There you go. It doesn't really take very long, and if you need to cut a rope, this might even be the easiest way to do it. And it even works on much bigger ropes. And depending on the circumstance, this might even be easier than bringing along another tool just to cut this thing with. All right, now let's move on to the next one. The next thing I wanted to show you guys was a pretty cool way to tie your shoes. So all you have to do is start with it already crossed one time, just like that, right? That's how everybody starts tying their shoes anyways. So the way I do it is I grab each shoelace with my pinky, twist one hand over the shoelace and one hand under the shoelace, right? And then I basically have it like that, right? So pretty easy. Start here, go to here, here to here. Okay, and then I grab each shoelace, right? So I'm gonna back up again. I come in like this, then with these fingers, I grab that shoelace. Then with these fingers, I grab that shoelace. Then you pull it, throw it down, boom. Now it doesn't make sense if you have to do it really slow like that. Instead, But when you do it really fast, it looks pretty cool. Huh? Not too bad. It takes a little bit of practice, but the thing is, this is actually just a cool way to tie your shoelaces. It's not really a life hack. I'd say it takes about the same amount of time to tie your shoes any other way, but it's just a cool way to do it, so I thought I'd include it. This next one was voted the number one life hack on Reddit, and it's pretty simple. So all you do is you take a fork and you hang it over a nail, and then you can use the fork to help guide yourself when you're hanging a picture. So as you can see, I already have my nail on the wall right there. All you have to do then is take a fork, place it over it in the middle. Then you take your picture, which already has a wire attached to the back. 
and that made it easy enough. I gotta admit, it would have probably been pretty easy with this one anyways, because the nail was coming off the wall pretty far, and it had a lot of slack on the hanger, but I have definitely struggled putting pictures on the wall before for that exact reason. I definitely think that this could be a very useful life hack if you're doing that. Let's move on to the next one. The next one I really like because it's gonna help you guys not stick it in the wrong hole. And you never wanna accidentally stick it in the wrong hole. We're talking about computer chargers, of course. So all you have to do is just simply paint a white dot right there, and then another white dot on your charger. That's where they meet up. So if you're looking for where to stick it in the middle of the night, you don't accidentally stumble into the wrong hole. But no, I actually have tried charging up my computer before by putting it in like the ethernet port or something like that. And I just thought it would be pretty useful. It's just a clever little trick. And it's incredibly simple. And guys, I'm up for lots of suggestions, especially dares, so make sure to leave me that in the comment section. Definitely like the video and subscribe if you've yet to have done that. And as always, I'll be seeing you guys tomorrow or as soon as possible with a brand new video. All right, thanks guys, bye.